The Congress Affiliated Students Union Wing has decided to boycott the upcoming elections to Goa University scheduled on August 16th if all the 28,000 eligible students are not allowed to vote. National Students Union of India Goa President Arhaz Mullah alleged that the university under the pressure of the BJP has been partial and allowing only the UFRs who are majority nominated by the faculty to vote. All the 28,000 students are not allowed to vote like we have always been demanding of open elections where all the students have the right to vote for the main council. Then we will be boycotting the elections. The NSUI along with other student organizations that are affiliated, that are, uh, we are with an alliance with will be boycotting these entire elections and we will not be going out for elections on the 16th of this month. We request the kind authorities to consider us. This has been a demand of two years to two to three years and it's not been this three years. From 2010, this demand has been coming across every year and it's not been solved. In the interest of the students, we request the CM, the VC, the governor to take this into a cognizance and make sure that the elections on 16 have the, everyone has the right to vote. So like time and again we have kept complaining to the police, to the respected colleges and uh, the concerned authorities about the safety of the students and all. So we have received a letter by an unknown student. The name has not been mentioned and the subject says inquiry into man practices during current college student election. So in this we, the person has highlighted quite a few points that are only with respect to the student council election. First of which is the sports professor in VM Salgaonkar College is threatening the candidate to support a, to support some uh, candidate that he has placed. Now he hasn't really placed this. This is the pressure as a government employee he is facing from somebody else. This is very evident. That is the first point. Then we have another teacher openly campaigning for a student. Number two, this is the reason why we are basically demanding for open election. When teachers and students are doing such things, then you, you can basically figure out where the democracy dies. For Prime, video journalist Devendra Gaukar, Penjim.